Good morning, everybody. I am uh, Professor Chris Delia, the Dean of the College of the Coast and Environment at LSU, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to our college's 52nd Diploma Ceremony. Before we get started, I would like to introduce uh, just a few of the people here today. Professor Robert Rowley, a member of the LSU Graduate Council, will serve as Master of Ceremonies. Uh, Professor Brian Snyder of the Department of Environmental Sciences will present diplomas to the graduates of his department and will make some uh, brief remarks. Professor Cam Bu Liu, uh, Chair of the Department of Oceanography and Coastal Sciences will present diplomas to the graduates of his department and will make some brief remarks. Professor Vincent Wilson, the Director of the Coastal Environmental Science Program, will present diplomas to graduates of his uh, program and will also make some brief remarks. I would also like to recognize Associate Deans Sibel uh, Bargu Atesh and John White, professors in the Department of Oceanography and Coastal Sciences. And I uh, also want to ask members of our world class faculty who are here today to stand and be recognized. We have a special guest today, and that is the provost of LSU, uh, Dr. Roy Haggerty, who would like to say a, a, a few words, uh, just, just so you all know what a provost is. Uh, he's my boss, and he's uh, second only to the president in terms of rank at LSU. So this is a great honor for us to have him here today. So, provost, please. Uh, thank you, Dean Delia. So I'm Roy Haggerty. I'm the provost here at LSU. I'm relatively new. I've been here since uh, since August 1st. I just want to. Uh, it's a it's an honor for me to be here. I myself uh, am an earth and environmental scientist, so very closely allied with the uh, the College of the Coast and Environment. I just want to um, just speak very briefly. I just want. To, um, you to know that the university recognizes the importance of the work that this college does, that the graduates uh, of the college will do in their careers. We live, um, as you all are aware, but our, you know, the world is not as aware as we would like it in a time that's increasingly fraught with, uh, with challenges um, on the coasts and, and, uh, and in our environment. We, um, it's, it's one of the most important challenges that we face as a, as a species today. Um, it's, a, it's a cornerstone of the university's priorities. If you, those of you who are familiar with the scholarship first agenda um, at LSU would recognize COAST as one of the five top priorities of the university. So, so this college and uh, the graduates that we're honoring today are an essential part of that. And, uh, and, uh, and I just want to thank you for all, all that you do. So I know uh, ceremonies like this can, uh, can feel a little long at times, so I'm going to keep my remarks very brief, and I just want to thank you, and I'm honored to be here. So back to Dean Delia. Thank you very much. Today marks the 52nd commencement ceremony for our college. And uh, coincidentally, it's about the same number of times that I've had the honor of serving on a platform party at a number of dis different universities that I've been associated with. It's also a day when we get to celebrate the great academic accomplishments of our graduating class. Small, albeit uh, as it is, this uh, winter is uh, unusually small actually, but that means you're even more special. Um, uh, and it never fails to fill me with pride. I love commencements. They're just so special. And it's a time for great joy for not only the graduates, but all the people behind them. Uh, think back to your first day at LSU graduates. Um, you came to us full of dreams and desires to become exceptional. You already were be exceptional because you chose to be with our program. but. Uh, I think we have an incredible program and we've helped your academic journey be uh, as easy as possible, but it is a hard one. We have a challenging program. Our subject matter is complex and has required hard work, sacrifice, and uh, it has to have associated with it an insatiable thirst for knowledge. 
And you may have spent an all-nighter or two in the, in the course of your studies. Uh, and to make things even more challenging, many of you had to persevere during the, the test of COVID. And so we had remote learning and all kinds of other things that uh, were not typical of the experience in academe. But that's the way it is. So fast forward to today, your graduation ceremony celebrates your bright future and you are now ready to apply your new skills and knowledge in whatever career option you choose. And believe me, our students choose a whole variety of things. Our college, our entire college, every one of us is very proud of you and re we recognize your accomplishments. Graduates, the tra tradition of success in our college adds intangible value to your diploma. You hold a degree that positions you well for careers in industry, government, nonprofits, acad academia, and graduate and professional skills. Let me detail a few of our successes because I'm so proud of our college. What a great place. Our undergraduate coastal environmental science BS program led by Professor Vince Wilson has grown from about 25 students to over 200 today. The program's only 14 years old and it's the fastest growing undergraduate program at LSU. And it's a challenging program. What makes it especially exciting to me is the incredible success of its undergraduates. Virtually all of them find meaningful employment or enter postgraduate degree programs within months of their graduation. It's always interesting to see the various paths our students choose after they leave us. With the versatility of this degree, which I like to call a the equivalent of a pre-med degree with interesting electives. Um, our alumni work as environmental attorneys, coastal ecologists, disaster planners, physicians, public health officials, veterinarians, natural resource specialists, and so many more professions. Our research program is strong and robust. It deals with a plethora of topics. We've received over 100 million in grants and contract research funding during my tenure. Three of our faculty have received prestigious National Science Foundation Career Awards, which is really an incredible distinction. Our federal support has grown to the highest levels ever achieved by our college uh, during the course of uh, the time I've been here. And I'm very proud of that. And uh, uh, Professor John White, who uh, runs our research program, is very much responsible for that. We're nationally competitive and internationally recognized. For our graduate students, uh, this is uh, uh, keenly important because many of these grants uh, include funding for graduate research assistants, although also our undergraduates benefit as well. Simply put, the more grants that we receive, the more graduate students we can accept into our program, and the more opportunities we have for undergraduates to work in our research labs. And I just comment that uh, as our undergraduate program has grown, so too our graduate program has grown. Um, we have a, a, a very steady uh, and growing number of uh, graduate students going for PhDs, which is very important to LSU. Our faculty are rec recognized experts in their fields. For example, Nancy Rabelais was elected to the prestigious National Academy of Sciences. She's one of two professors at LSU to have that honor. Many of us have received significant internal and external recognition, including AAAS and ACS fellows, distinguished professorships. Dr. Jean Turner, who uh, recently retired, was named a Boyd Professor during my time here, uh, the highest accolade one can achieve at LSU. What an honor it is for our students to learn from such distingu distinguished uh, leaders. While at our college, our students have been provided with opportunities for enrichment and uh, through uh, even uh, some uh, extracurricular activities such as our musical concerts that we have co-hosted with the LSU School of Music. Uh, the quality of music which we do in our rotunda has been greatly enhanced by the gift of a grand pi uh, piano from a generous donor. Uh, as a side note, if you've not seen our beautiful rotunda, I hope that you'll stop by before you leave campus. Uh, today we have our, our annual holiday uh, party and, and uh, I think at 2.30 this afternoon, you're certainly welcome to come to that. Um, 
Just last Sunday, we hosted a spectacular concert of the Baton Rouge Opera Guild. And events like this are important to the college, uh, its outreach and philanthropic uh, priorities. Uh, we use these as also opportunities for fundraising. Phil philanthropic gifts not only furnish our students with a little bit of land yap to help enhance their educational experiences, but also find, fund, uh, uh, find uh, critical support for our students and faculty. As our graduates enter the workforce or continue with their educational journal, journey, they will uh, collaborate with people from all walks of life. Given the demographic trends in the U.S. and recognizing that a more diverse pool of potential students will exist in the future, our college has been working to increase the diversity of our student body and faculty. Our environmentors program with Scotlandville Magda High School, our partnerships with Mayfair Laboratory School and the Eva Lagarde Focus Choice School of the East Baton Rouge Parish Schools uh, System uh, underscore our commitment to K-12 STEM education as well as diversity, equity, and inclusion. I could go on, but I think you get the point. Our magnificent college is a really incredible place. As you consider, uh, continue with your uh, next step along your career path, the impact of your knowledge, values, and skills will improve the lives, livelihoods, and quality of life in your immediate community and beyond. Now, before uh, we start uh, presenting the diplomas, I have some news to share with you. When I arrived here uh, 13 and a half years ago at LSU, I expected to serve as dean for about five years, the normal tenure of a dean. And that was 13 and a half years ago. So now I can claim to be the longest serving dean at LSU and the longest serving dean in the history of our college. As I look back at some of the milestones achieved during my time here, I want especially to thank our students, faculty, and staff for their support and the significant role that they play as we continue to advance knowledge about uh, the coastal environment for generations to come. I've let Provost Haggerty know of my intention to step down as dean at the end of June. It's a difficult decision, but uh, it, it, it's just time for me to do it. It's time for new leadership and vigorous leadership. Uh, as a full-time faculty member in our college, I plan to focus on teaching, writing, and engaging our students. I will help in any way I can to support the efforts to identify my successor and will always be available to uh, support our students, our college, and all of LSU. You can uh, learn more about uh, this decision by uh, the announcement that we have on our website uh, later today. So I uh, invite Provost Haggerty to say a couple of additional remarks at this time. Uh, thank you, Dean Delia. Yes, yeah, so Dean Delia informed me of uh, his decision to step down at the end of June, a little earlier this fall. And as a result of that, we've had some time to put some things in motion um, behind the scenes. We didn't want to do that uh, in public, but now we can. Um, so we, um, so first of all, I want to congratulate Dean Dealey on a very successful uh, period here at LSU as Dean of the College of the Coast and the Environment. Uh, the college has grown tremendously in, in many ways, uh, some of which were outlined in Dean Delia's remarks. And this is largely due to his uh, steady and, uh, and, and wise hand. Um, we want to continue that success, and, uh, and, uh, and the best way to do that is we'll do a national search, an international search, actually. We'll do an a, a outside search for, for the next dean of the College of the Coast and the Environment. We've already uh, uh, put uh, the pieces in play for that to happen. We are contracting with uh, an external search firm. Um, most likely that will, will be Greenwood Asher. We haven't signed the contract, but it probably will be that. Um, it's a firm that we've used uh, a number of times here at LSU, including for the search that hired me. And uh, they're, they're a very good and reputable search firm. And so we'll be putting that search together. We'll be, uh, we'll be putting together a, a search committee uh, very shortly. And, uh, and those steps will all uh, bring us very quickly to a search that will begin in earnest in, in January. My hope is that we'll have uh, the individual identified uh, to be able to start in the summer in an ideal scenario immediately um, upon, uh, upon Chris's retirement from Dean at the end of the spring term. 
there could be a little bit longer and we have ways to manage that. So just want to know, you, let the college know that, uh, that everything's here in good hands. Uh, again, congratulations, Dean Delia, for all of the excellent work you've done here at LSU as dean, and we look forward to more as a uh, faculty member. I really appreciate that, and uh, it's great to have a provost who's an environmental scientist as well. So uh, um, I tried to convince him to have his tenure in our college. I'll keep working on it. Uh, now, uh, heck with me. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's about you. Uh, this is the time for us to proceed with a presentation of diplomas. Uh, this is something that this uh, seasoned, very seasoned dean never gets tired of doing as it's a time of great joy in which we recognize one of the most significant life achievements that you'll ever, our graduates, will ever achieve. I would like to remind you that the grad team will be here for pictures during and after the ceremony, so don't run off. We, we want to get a lot of pictures of you all. So now I ask Dr. Rowley to come forward and present uh, candidates, our candidates for graduate degree. He's got his own podium. Would the candidate for the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, please stand? Dean Delia, in recognition of the completion of all requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, I am pleased to present this candidate to you. Candidate, please be seated. Would the candidates for the degree of Master of Science please stand? Dean Delia, in recognition of the completion of all requirements for the degree of Master of Science, I am pleased to present these candidates to you. Candidates, please be seated. Would the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science please stand? Dean Delia, in recognition of the completion of all requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science, I am pleased to present these candidates to you. Candidates, please be seated. So to all our graduates, you have been certified as having completed all requirements for your degree. The Louisiana State University Board of Supervisors has authorized the conferral of the appropriate degree with all the rights, privileges, and respons responsibilities appertaining. At this time, tradition dictates that undergraduates move your tassel from the right side of your mortar board to the left to signify your status as a graduate of Louisiana State University. Congratulations. Four of, four of our graduates in the College of the Coast and Environment are unable to be with us here today. Nevertheless, I would like to recognize them. Jacob Mendoza. Jacob is also receiving his graduate certificate in environmental modeling and analysis. His major professor is Dr. Brian Snyder, and his thesis title is Systematic Review of the Red Cockaded Woodpecker Conservation Strategies including habitat, species-specific, and policy-based management strategies, 2012 to 2022. Please join me in congratulating Jacob Mendoza. <clears throat> Trinette Moore. 
Trinette is also receiving the graduate certificate in environmental and energy policy. Her major professor is Dr. Brian Snyder, and the thesis title is Toxic Chemical Compound Per and Polyfluoroalkyl Substances, PFAS Impact on Children. Please join me in congratulating Trinette Moore. <laughs> Dean Michael Reeves, major professor, Dr. Brian Snyder. Thesis title, Likely Impacts of Fine Particulate Matter, PM, on Human Health. Please join me in congratulating Dean Michael Reeves. And Christopher Blake Vincent, major professor, Dr. Brian Snyder. Thesis title, Treatment and Remediation of Environmental Media Contaminated with Per and Polyfluorinated Alkyl Substances a systematic literature review of academic research. Please join me in congratulating Christopher Blake Vincent. Now we will continue with the presentation of diplomas to the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Coastal Environmental Science. I would like to ask Dean Delia and Coastal Environmental Sciences Director, Dr. Vincent Wilson, to come forward. Dr. Wilson will present you with your diploma, and Dean Delia will present you with a gift from the College of the Coast and Environment. And we have an added bonus that the provost will also come forward. Yes, thank you. As I call your name, please come forward. Christina Nicole Chapman. Please join me again in congratulating Christina Chapman. Delaney Lee Patterson. Please join me again in congratulating Delaney Patterson. Mary Catherine Shoemaker. Please join me again in congratulating Mary Catherine Shoemaker. <laughs> Dr. Wilson would like to say a few words regarding the graduates. I 
think we're getting over-anxious for more grads to come through. <clears throat> well, I usually spend a little time talking about the program as well as the students, and uh, our dean's been stealing my thunder as usual. Um, same time, I think I'm going to miss him stealing my thunder. Not fair. This is the middle of our 14th year, and we've grown to over 200 uh, majors, and we'd actually be a lot larger, but for some reason we let them out with their bachelor's degree after four years. Of course, that's four years of academic torture, but they escape. Um, this is not an easy degree. It's a very solid math science degree, but it enables both a numerous career opportunities as well as spearheads their future successes, which uh, the success of our alumni amply demonstrates. Uh, we have no doubt that today's graduates will go on to achieve great things. A uh, few words about each of our students. Christine Chapman uh, is from Decanter, Georgia. She actually visited here and loved it, so we entrapped her. <laughs> uh, she, she came, chose our degree. Again, she's interested in the environment, the usual kinds of things that brings them to these opportunities, but a big part of it was the size of our family, and literally that's how we run this show, this program. Uh, when she came for orientation, she was one of four students and saw how close the community our major is. Christine has a natural affinity for swimming, has uh, gone to the beach much with her, with her uh, family as a child, enjoyed learning about the environment. In part, this is due to her grandparents who own a farm in rural Georgia and a grandmother who enjoyed planting fruit trees in Florida. Hmm. I like that too, can enjoy the fresh fruit. Um, she hopes to scuba dive, learn to sail soon. She plans to continue her studies first with a master's in environmental sustainability and then uh, pursue um, architecture and landscape architecture, the interest in sustainability in building resilient homes uh, for, uh, to face natural disasters. <clears throat> In spite of her heavy class load, Christina has been working in the lab, in the research laboratory under um, Laura Basquerico, and plans to continue this coming spring uh, working in the lab. Uh, she also volunteers as an English tutor with the um, adult literacy advocates in Baton Rouge. Uh, enjoys reading, kayaking on university lakes, and enjoys enjoying and continue her time here at LSU and we'll enjoy having her for another semester. Delaney Patterson, having graduated from a, a school nearby, Covington, Louisiana, Delaney followed her four sisters and four brothers-in-law to LSU, and with her strong affinity for the outdoors and interest in the environment, she found her way to the CES program. And Delaney is intending on work in the consulting fields where her skills in environmental management, public and environmental safety, infrastructure and transportation project planning, and sustainability will uh, be most useful. I think that list gives you a little idea of some of the breadth of opportunities in our program. Um, in response to a question that I asked of anything she would like mentioned today, I'm going to quote what she wrote. I'm so thankful for the help and care of my professors and all the opportunities that LSU and the CES program have given me, and especially for all the love and support of my parents, brothers, sisters throughout the four and a half years here. Hmm, four and a half years. I didn't realize that we gave her an extra half year of academic torture. Huh. Mary Catherine Shoemaker. She's used to my ribbing, so... I'm sure I'll have to add some. Apparently, we enticed Mary Catherine to join the CES family, pulling her away from her origins in Chattanooga, Tennessee. 
Her interest in the outdoors, along with math and science, drew her to the CES program. And apparently fishing has become an important pastime. I guess that attraction to the water again. Um, she obviously enjoys the water as she chose a champion swimmer for her boyfriend. Yep. Anyway, along with a very heavy academic load, Mary Catherine also pursued a couple of minors. She graduates today with a minor in disaster science and management and a minor in Chinese. I give her credit for that. I get lost in those symbols. In, um, now, if that heavy academic load was not enough, she has also spent most of the last two years working in communications team in the dean's office. And I can tell you, she's going to be sorely missed in the dean's office. Um, we've tried to entice her, and, and in, in spite of that academic time and academic load and the, and the time spent working in the dean's office, Mary Catherine is graduating with only three and a half years. I really looked at that, and, and we were discussing the possibility of, you know, causing her to pursue or, or complete the normal four years of academic torture. But the fiery stir that she gave us quickly quelled that option. Um, I can tell you, though, that her excellent editing, writing, organizational skills that have been so valuable to the functions of the dean's office are going to be missed. Uh, Mary Catherine will be taking time from off from school to explore her options. Uh, needless to say, I think it's an easy prediction that not too much time will pass before we'll find her working on a graduate degree someplace. By now, you're probably aware that our CES majors don't just sit and just take classes. They, are, they make a difference. They're involved in the numerous things. Uh, part of the high success that we've had with our, our alumni. Uh, the successes have been, of our CES graduate, graduates have been outstanding. I could go on and on bragging about the successes, but this distinguished group behind me would kind of pull me off this podium if I keep going. Um, in closing, though, to our new and alumni, there is one additional responsibility that you carry with you. You've got to stay in touch. You've got to let us know where you are next, what's happening, um, what you're, where you are in your career, what jobs, etc. And remember, you're, you're always part of the family, and we're still here to help if we can. Let's congratulate our new CES bachelor degree. We now continue with the presentation of the diplomas to the graduates receiving a Master of Science in the Department of Oceanography and Coastal Sciences. I would like to ask Dr. Liu to come up. Dr. Liu will present you with your diplomas and Dean Delia will present you with a special gift from the College of the Coast and Environment and Provost Haggerty will be there to congratulate you as well. As I call your name, please come forward. Jenna Nicole Brogdon, Major Professor, Dr. Michael Dance. Jenna was in our excellent non-thesis program. Please join me in congratulating Jenna Brogdon. 
I apologize, Jenna did have a thesis, and it is not written for me here, but congratulations on her master's thesis as well. Mahala Gamble, major professor, Dr. Stephen Midway. Thesis title, Characterizing Habitat Suitability for Gulf Sturgeon, Asipenser Oxyrhynchus de Sotoi in Southern Louisiana. Please join me in congratulating once again Mahala Gamble. We will continue with the presentation of the diplomas for the graduates receiving a Master of Science in the Department of Environmental Sciences. I would like to ask Dr. Brian Snyder to come up. Dr. Snyder will present you with your diplomas and Dean Delia will present you with a special gift from the College of the Coast and Environment and Provost Haggerty will be here to congratulate you as well. As I call your name, please come forward. Robin Hall. Ro Robin is also receiving the graduate certificate in environmental health sciences. Major Professor, Dr. Brian Snyder. Thesis title, Does Airborne Mold Have an Adverse Effect on Human Health? A Systematic Review. Please join me in congratulating once again, Robin Hall. <laughs> Kayla Johnson. Kayla is also receiving her graduate certificate in environmental and energy policy. Major professor, Dr. Ra Brian Snyder. Thesis title, Associated Risks of Benzene Exposure and Adverse Effects to Petroleum Industry Workers. Please join me in congratulating Kayla Johnson once again. Megan McMullen. <laughs> Megan is also receiving her graduate certificate in environmental modeling and analysis. Major professor, Dr. Brian Snyder. Thesis title, The Impact of Wildlife Fecal Pollution on Water Quality. Please join me again in congratula congratulating Megan McMullen. <laughs> Madeline Proser, major professor, Dr. Nina Lamb. Thesis title, Replacement Hydrofluorocarbons and How They Affect Earth's Stratospheric Ozone through industrial and residential use, a systematic literature review. Please join me again in congratulating Madeline Proser. <laughs> Sujata Sinha. Sujata is also receiving her graduate certificate in environmental and energy policy. Major professor, Dr. Brian Snyder. Thesis title, Population Surge in Austin and the Impact on Urban Ecosystems. 
a systematic literature review. Please join me again in congratulating Sujata Sinha. And now for the PhD graduate in the Department of Oceanography and Coastal Sciences. In a doctoral student's studies, the role of mentors is particularly, particularly strong. The student's major professor, guided by other members of the faculty, closely guides the student's research and writing. The doctoral hood is a symbol of the student's accomplishment and full membership in the fellowship of academia. The doctoral student who crosses the stage today is accompanied by his or her mentor, usually his or her major professor. This person will assist in hooding his or her student with a doctoral hood. As I call your name, please come forward to be hooded. Dr. Liu will present you with your diploma, and Dean Delia will present you with a gift from the College of the Coast and Environment, and Provost Haggerty will be congratulating you as well. Yanda O. Oh. Major Professor, Dr. Jo George Shua. Yanda is being hooded today by Dr. Chun Yan Li, and his dissertation title is A Numerical and Machine Learning Investigation to Water Quality in the Northern Gulf of Mexico from Estuaries to Shelf. Please join me again in congratulating Dr. Yanda O. Oh. The title of Jenna Nicole Brogdon's thesis was Characterizing Habitat Suitability for Gulf Sturgeon, Asipenser oxyrhynchus de Sotoi in southern Louisiana. <laughs> Dr. Cambu Liu would like to say a few words regarding the graduates from the Department of Oceanography and Coastal Sciences. I'm pleased to see that uh, three students are graduating with their master's or PhD degrees from the Department of Oceanography and Coastal Sciences today. I wanted to con congratulate you in reaching this major milestone in your lifelong, lifelong journey. I also wanted to remind you that this is not only a milestone, but it is also a commencement or a beginning of a new and exciting journey ahead. What makes your achievement even more remarkable is that your academic journey at LSU during the last two or three years overlapped with one of the most challenging times faced by our nation and the world due to the COVID pandemic. But you managed to overcome the incredible challenges and reach your academic goals. For that, please accept my heartfelt congratulations. As I have done at every commencement during the past 10 years, it is my pleasure and privilege to say a few introductory remarks about each of our graduates. We will start with our PhD graduate first, followed by the two MS or master graduates. And I'll start with um, Yanda Ao. And Yanda grew up in the Guangdong province of southern China, where his mother tongue is Cantonese, and I'm proud to say that he's one of the few people in our department with whom I can converse in this local dialect. He got his, both his bachelor's and master's degree in oceanography from the Ocean University in the beautiful coastal city of Qingdao in eastern China, and that's where the famous Qingdao beer comes from. He started his PhD program in our department in 2017 under the direction of his advisor, Dr. George Sir, and his research interests focus on coastal and estuarine hydrodynamics and biogeochemical processes 
and his expertise is in the application of sophisticated three-dimensional computer modeling and machine learning, which is a new and um, emerging exciting field. Uh, the application to coastal water quality studies and in the northern Gulf of Mexico. And he will continue his research in Dr. Sir's lab as a postdoctoral research associate after today's graduation. One of our uh, master graduates is Jenna Brockton. And Jenna received her bachelor's degree in marine biology from Texas A&M University at Galveston in 2020. And she immediately started her master's degree in our department. In the past two years, she was working in the fisheries and movement ecology lab under the direction of uh, her advisor, Dr. Michael Dance. In her thesis research, she used acoustic telemetry techniques to characterize the habitat suitability for an important fish species, the Gulf sturgeon, in southern Louisiana. And she will happily start her new job very soon, um, in a matter of days, actually, as a research associate in the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in the beautiful Washington State. Our second uh, master's graduate is Mahela Haley Gambio. Haley grew up on a sheep farm uh, in North Carolina, and she loves the wildlife. She earned a bachelor's degree in fisheries and wildlife conservation biology from North Carolina State University in 2020. And she came to our department for her master's degree shortly after that. Here she has been working with her advisor, uh, Dr. Steve Midway, on a research project on crawfish aquaculture in southeastern Louisiana, especially focusing uh, on a disease called the white spot syndrome virus that affects crawfish production in our state. We all know how important crawfish is, you know, for the state of Louisiana. I'm happy to report that she has already started a new job joining the Louisiana Sea Grant and the LSU X Center as the marine extension agent for the Terrebonne and Lafourche parishes. She looks forward to using her scientific knowledge to work with her stakeholders to address the important coastal and fisheries issues in our state. So again, congratulations to all of our graduates for completing a remarkable journey, and I wish you all the best in your new journey towards a bright future. We are very proud of you. Dr. Brian Snyder would like to say a few words regarding the graduates from the Department of Environmental Sciences. Thank you, Bob. Uh, good morning, and uh, congratulations to the uh, graduates. As the uh, graduate advisor in the Department of Environmental Sciences, uh, it's my privilege to, uh, to say a few words about our graduates. Uh, Sujata Sina was born and raised in India. She completed her bachelor's degree and was admitted to a master's degree in geography in India, but had to discontinue after one year at the university due to uh, personal reasons. Uh, she came to the United States and earned a uh, degree, summa cum laude, president's list, and dean's list uh, in university studies from the University of Houston, Victoria, in 2021. And LSU gave Sunjata the opportunity to complete her unfinished master's degree. She joined uh, LSU in the second fall of 2021 uh, in the MS program in environmental sciences. Um, she has worked in the U.S. In, uh, as an environmental intern under G.R. Strucker and Associates in Baton Rouge and for the ExxonMobil uh, Joliet Refinery, and she uh, intends to continue working in uh, environmentally relevant uh, jobs. Uh, congratulations, Sunjata. Uh, Megan McMullen was born in Tracy, California. 
Uh, she got her bachelor's degree in wildlife and fisheries sciences from Texas A&M in 2008. She worked as a uh, teacher for many years and is currently employ employed with the Brazo Brazoria County Engineering Department. And she plans to continue her work uh, uh, in GIS. Kayla Johnson spent her childhood in Grapeland, Texas. She enlisted in the United States Army in 2014 and served for eight years. During this time, she also obtained an Associates of Arts degree from Trinity Valley Community College and later attended Sam Houston State, where she earned her Bachelor's of Science is in Public Health. Her work in environmental health uh, and safety field within the petroleum industry drove her to continue her education so that in 2020, she entered dual programs in LSU's College of the Coast and Environment to earn her Master's of Science in Environmental Sciences as well as her graduate certificate in Energy and Environmental Policy. After graduation, she plans to continue her roles as an EHS shift leader and emergency response team leader at Invista Chemical Corp, uh, where her focus will be to strive for environmental compliance, safe work practices, ensuring worker health, through federal and state exposure guidelines and continuing to adapt and improve the site's emergency response uh, protocols. Congratulations, Kayla. Uh, Robin Hall lives in Austin. She has a bachelor's degree uh, from UT Austin and she describes herself as a serial entrepreneur. She owns five businesses and with this degree she plans to open a new business uh, in um, industrial hygiene. She's also starting a PhD program uh, assuming that her family doesn't uh, drive her uh, out of that for uh, time reasons. And then finally, uh, Madeline Prosser. Madeline grew up in Ackworth, Georgia, and obtained her bachelor's degree uh, in coastal environmental sciences from LSU in 2020. In the fall of 2021, she began her master's uh, in environmental sciences and worked as a graduate assistant for the LSU Center for Analytics and Research in Transportation Safety, specializing in data quality, auditing, and spatial mapping. She plans to remain at LSU after graduation and pursue a PhD in environmental sciences under Dr. Nina Lamb. Her research interests include environmental health, climate policy, and remote sensing. She plans to continue to work in GIS mapping with a focus on health and safety. So congratulations to all of our graduates. This uh, concludes today's ceremony. I want to thank the provost for joining us today. His presence is a very special uh, thing for us. Um, graduates, you are now LSU alumni, and I hope that you keep a lifelong connection with this great university and, of course, with our college. You'll always be a part of our, our college and always in our hearts. We're very proud of you. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff of our college, let me give you our very best wishes for your future and again to congratulate you on a significant life achievement. We wish you every uh, success in the future. Please stick around and get some pictures with us. We'd love to have pictures and uh, have a great day. Congratulations. Thank uh you. -huh.